Good morning, my reckless delegation. Good morning, good morning, good morning. The day after, still feeling good. Oh my God. I'm still feeling amazing, man. You know, we did our thing. You know what I mean? You and I. <laughs> you know your voice is good, but it's good for good reason, bro. There's nothing better, bro. There's no greater feeling. Um, be be them right. Be our rivals, bro. And you know what? To, usually, I tend to complain. I tend to complain because I see the tricks. I see what the media's doing. I see what the media's playing at, and I get annoyed that they don't tell. They don't talk about. They don't tell the true story. And I, I I usually complain like that. And I thought, you know what? Instead of complaining, I just talk about myself. I'll talk about things that I'm noticing, things that I'm seeing, things that we need to like be proud of and stuff. So let's get into it right now. Um, have you let anyone had a quick look on Liverpool's record against the top six? Because those are things again. When my manager's under pressure, those are the things they want to show. Look at their record against the top six. You're saying because they're not winning. They're not winning, draw, 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 lost, like, what's going on? What is going on? Not being in the top six. Talk to me about that. That's a big issue. Again, it was an issue they made the most out of last season. If they can't fix this, can they win the league? If they continue this form, this is not league winning form, mate. This is not quadruple winning form at the end of the day. Let's talk about, what do you call it? Let's talk about losing it and calling people fat and that. Let's let's really talk about those things. Anyway, I don't want to let's let's talk about um, anti football and stuff. You know, we had that time where there was a conversation about we went to um, we went to Merseyside and we defended for our lives. Yeah, we was in Merseyside. Do we play that way against? Um, Do we play that way yesterday? Absolutely not. Why? We're at home. It's a different energy. We're gonna try and show up. Did the babies play? No, we played our babies, though. <laughs> we played young Ganacho, fam. He got it done. Young Rasmus Hoyland, fam. He got it done. And what Kobe did? Oh, man. What Kobe did? We're playing kids. When you're seeing youngsters, I'm at the Nemande. <laughs> We're playing the kids. Kids are leading the line. Do you see Laska Linen, fam? Oh my God! What? Talk to me now. I want to have a conversation. I just want to have a chat. Yesterday, again, a player that needs some praise as well, man. Um, Anthony does need the praise. He does need praise. You know, was all quick to run outside and say, apologize to. Um, that we said apologize to Ahmad and all these other players and stuff, but let's be honest, it's not been kind. It's not been a kind session for Anthony. It hasn't been kind, you know, it hasn't at all. Do you know what I'm saying? And he did his job. Anthony did his job yesterday. He did his thing, came on, had just in just the injection, the push, the level of I need to do something. And to be involved, to score such an important goal. We are out. We were out the swivel, not the spin move. You know, that like, come on, man. That's what we're talking about. That's what it's all about, bro. Literally, like, the players deserve credit, you know. Anthony was actually, there was a time when he was even playing left back, bro. Like, the final formation. Hilarious. Maguire up front. <laughs> My manager said, roll the dice. <laughs> My manager rolled the dice. That's what we saw. That's what happened. That's how the game went. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, nah, man. I'm like, even it's a new day, yeah, but the feelings of yesterday haven't like subsided at all. You know, it's just one of those things of they have to deal with that. They have to deal with it. Even I was watching um, ESPN, and even the way my man said, Alejandro Moreno said, what do you call it? Manchester United. <laughs> he couldn't believe it, bro. Yeah, we did it, fam. A lot of people thought the tie was going to be over. A lot of people, I saw, what do you call it? Man from Anfield Agenda singing the Onana song, fam. Only for him to say, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Brother, 
You think you're gonna win the country, Paul? Oh hell no! Ha ha ha! Ain't winning shit. Good, absolutely good, man. We, you know, we gotta talk about this as well. Ineos, we're in the building. Ineos, yeah. They were watching that game, and they, they again, they gotta look at the manager. They have to. They gotta look at the manager. When you're making a big decision, you gotta make the the right decision for the club. Omar and them man there, yeah. <laughs> Let's call it them man there. Omar and them, yeah. They have to. They should look and say, "Yo, okay, this guy has got the players are fighting for him." That'll be in my mind, absolutely. He's making tactical solutions on the fly. He has to. Now you're behind. You're seeing behind the curtain, and you're like, "Wait, my man lost Johnny Evans, man." Like. Aaron Wambasaka just got back. Aaron Wambasaka just got back, just got in. And look at the performance that he's given. Look at the lows levels. Look at the look what we're doing. Look what we're building here. Are the investments gonna work out? I think they could. Now, if we put the right money behind this guy, again. When we're bringing in talents, we still need to talk to him because it's about mindset, attitude. Man United, one of the things, we we know that Liverpool probably, like, football for football, they're probably, uh, like, a better side as it stands, you know? But then we should be able to beat them in attitude and fight and grit, determination. It don't matter how good they are. We should be able to, we're going to be there. In the famous words of John Morgan, Trek back, <laughs> Trek Big trick. <laughs> In the famous words, bro, we must be there. If there's something happening, I need to see a Man United shirt first. If anything, who? Quanta who? Virgil who? Virgil. Virgil. <laughs> Best defender, my ass. Hold four goals. With our goal difference as well. Hold four, fam. Not a penalty in sight. Move, not deflected one in sight, bro. What? Robinson, all the man them there. Come on, man. We're not playing with you lot. We don't care. Keller, who get out, bro. We're on you, man. Listen, so Ineos are watching that game, and they have to. They have to look at that and say, look, man, we can't be. We can't just and, and well. Oh, what's the guy, man? Ornstein came out. I said, look, they're not thinking about changing anything. But then when you really look, let, let's actually look at the situation at hand right now. With everything that's happened this season, Man United have the opportunity. We're getting back to Wembley as well, yeah? These are back-to-back -back now. We're doing back-to-back, -back, like, in the cup, yeah? Back-to-back -back semifinals, which is fantastic. That's great. Like, we're in these, we're in these cup things. Like, we're trying our thing, yeah? So we're doing that. Yeah, don't get me started. Hold on, what else is getting on? Because I'm ex excited. Um, top four is still on. Top four is still a possibility. I told you, man, about Aston Villa. I told you about these sides, bro. Like, when it's time to win, when it's really winning time, it really pushes teams. It let, you, know the, you know the true nature of a team because it's all good saying, without pressure, football, mm, enjoyable. You see that pressure of every game, every game, a fan expectation, the stadium, the grumbles when you haven't started the game, right? Your mentality needs to be top-tier elite. When it's not going your way, when the first half, you haven't really had the touches that you want, you haven't had a decent shot on target, when the fans start to not believe, you're starting to, because you can't vibe your way, bro. It's character. Character must show. And one thing for sure is the character at Man United will come through. It will. It will come through. Even, I know a lot of people are looking, people are looking at the Rashid situation wrong. They are. Rashid missed yesterday. He missed in that, what do you call it, dying minute, this, that, and the other. But then he kept going, bro. He kept going. And got his reward, fam. So we can slate him. People's like, ah, oh, I'm not forgiving him for the miss. Mate, he scored. He, he's still a part of it. 
Yes, he should have got it done in them. Liverpool missed bare chances. It's part of the game. You see what I'm saying? Like, we need to be able to, when our players do a mad thing, lift these guys off the floor and say, let's keep going. Because all that said to me is, well, you know when you get close, the message should be, well, we should be able to get close again. That's my thing. Like, when I go to, if I go somewhere, I don't think, oh, this is a one, one and done opportunity. I've been here. I was doing something right. Let me keep doing what I was doing, and I'll get there again. That's the mindset. That's the mentality. Do you know what I mean? And somehow at Man United, we need to just adopt that mentality of we can beat anyone. <laughs> we can. Yesterday, it, those patches in the in the first half, even Klopp said, look, they were better than us that first half. We, we struggled. And then after, second half, Liverpool turned it up. They turned it up, but they couldn't score. And then Klopp says, they, we didn't have what they had. We couldn't match what they had. The first time I saw my team in trouble, I said, really, Klopp? What? Is that what you're telling me right now? <laughs> Klopp? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? Are you telling me the truth? Are you telling me the truth? Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I'm like, literally, I'm over the moon as a Man United fan this morning because a lot of people like the salty ones, they have to deal with that. Man City, Man United cannot fear them, but we have to beat Coventry. We can't overlook Coventry. I don't care what they, like, they're somehow they're in the semifinals. We're taking it very serious. We'll be ready. First team setting, everyone's getting out there. And we have to get it done. Again, if it's Chelsea, it's Chelsea. If it's Man City, even better. Even better. Honestly, if it's Man City, even better. Like, we got to get a win. We have to beat these. We have to, again, we have to be the, we have to spoil the party. We're like, players are coming back. Mason Mount involved. Anthony, you deserve credit. Ahmad, wow. Like, hopefully, they're not going to rescind that red card. It should It shouldn't have been there. You know, like, it's a big celebration, bro. That match had to ruin the moment. That referee, shame on you, fam. But anyway, the the we, everyone should know right now. We're not playing. We mean business, yeah. We're talking about a manager that can get to back to back finals, people. A potential back to back finals, top four. There's progress. No one is gonna say that. But we'll say it here. There's been this is progression. That's what we call progress. And we're just getting started. <laughs> man. Everyone stay blessed, man. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gassed. Really happy. I'm gonna bring the heat everywhere I go. I'm out of here. <laughs> Drop a bomb, 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 bomb. Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. Big up to those in attendance. Ooh, Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. KG, this one's crazy. You're too None can compare with the KG done. Better take cover when he drops that. Bon, bon, Going on bon. reckless, trust this on. It's that time when he drops that. Bon, bon, bon. I said drop a bomb, Dad.